everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I want to talk about something I get a lot of comments and questions about and that is my skin. Now first of all <laughs> let me say thank you for the compliments. Y'all are very sweet with all the compliments I get about my skin. However I do not have perfect skin. But I'm going to share with you what I use to keep my 53 year old skin looking the best that it can. Let me also say that in filming, I do not use any filters on my camera. You can buy filters that fit over the top of your camera lens that blur things and blur those lines and pores and all that stuff. I don't use any of those. Also don't add any beauty filters when I'm editing my video footage. So all you get is my camera and the lighting that I use. So really what you see is what you get. So I'm just going to go over everything that I'm using right now and what it does for me. And as always, I will have these things linked down in the description box if you're interested in checking them out for yourself. The first thing and the most important thing that any of us can use is a retinol. And retinols are not all created equal. There are different strengths. Of course, the highest strength is going to be your prescription tretinoin, and that is the holy grail, and I used that for years. I used that back in my 20s because I still had adult acne going on, and into my 30s and early 40s, I used tretinoin. But as I have aged, and yes, the menopause word is coming into my vocabulary, because my skin has changed, my hair has definitely changed, so I cannot tolerate tretinoin anymore. So over-the-counter retinols are removed a couple of steps from the prescription strength stuff. Most of what you see on the shelves is a retinol, and there is another step between tretinoin and retinol, and that is a retinaldehyde. The one I use is the Aven or Avene Retronol Retinaldehyde. And the one I use is the 0 0.05 cream. I have been able to tolerate this with all Avene or Aven products. There's no added fragrance, no colors, nothing. It is just the most gentle stuff for your face and that's why I love it and I can tolerate it. I'm trying to build up to using this every day. Right now I'm using it a few times a week, like three times a week, but you do have to start off and build up to it. But that is what sloughs off our dead skin cells. It increases cell turnover just to get rid of all the things that dull down our skin and are emphasizing those fine lines. And over time, this can help reduce the looks of fine lines and wrinkles and pores and all that good stuff. So this is the foundation of any good skin care, especially when you're my age, and that is a tretinoin or retinol product. By the way, this video is not sponsored by anybody. This is just what I use and my opinions. So another line of products that I use with great success is Drunk Elephant. Yes, I know that's a funny name, but they have been around for, I'm not sure how long, but I was introduced to them maybe 10 years ago or so. The two Drunk Elephant products that I'm loving right now is their vitamin C serum. This is the C Firma Fresh Day Serum and it is a vitamin C serum. You use this in the morning, part of your morning routine, before you put on anything else. So this goes under my moisturizer. Just one pump of this, it spreads very evenly across your face and it soaks in 
pretty quickly too. And vitamin C serum is good for skin brightening and just overall skin health. And this one is 15% ascorbic acid and ferulic acid. And again, no fragrance, nothing in this that irritates my skin. It's a very gentle and kind product if you're looking for a way to bring in a vitamin C serum into your routine. Now my all-time favorite Drunk Elephant product is Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is a protein moisturizer with peptides. And this stuff, I use it morning and night. It is a cream, so it's a little bit thicker than a facial lotion, but it soaks right into your skin and it does not leave any kind of greasy residue. I have been using a lighter weight moisturizer for daytime, but since we took our trip to Utah last week, my skin <laughs> is trying desperately to recover. I live in a humid climate and throwing my skin into that very dry, arid environment really has wreaked havoc with my skin and I'm trying to get it back to its normal. So I'm using this morning and night. Usually I would only do it at night, but I find that my skin is needing the extra moisture all day right now. So I'm using this twice a day. It's very soothing to your skin and your skin just feels great after you apply this. I forgot to mention that the Aven Retronol also comes in a version for your eyes and I have that too and I use it on the same days that I use this all over my face. I use the eye one just for that more delicate skin around my eyes. Another must have for hydrated and moisturized skin is a hyaluronic acid serum. Now you could spend a lot on a hyaluronic acid serum, but I don't. I use the CeraVe hyaluronic acid serum. I apply this at night before my moisturizer to help lock it in and really get the most benefit from my moisturizer. And this is key in the winter time for keeping my skin hydrated. Now, this is a drugstore brand, so it's very affordable. I think a bottle of this is about $14. Again, it's fragrance-free, irritant-free. I can use this with my sensitive skin, no problem. Are you enjoying this video? If you are, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would love to have you stick around here on Style with Serena. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about more cosmetic items as far as like how I get the look on, that you see in my videos. And I did an entire Get Ready With Me video not too long ago, and I will put a link to that down in a pinned comment. So if you want to see the full process of me putting on my makeup, watch that video. The most important thing for me to prep my skin for makeup is a good primer. I have very large pores, especially on my nose and uh, here on my cheeks. I also have some acne scarring down here on my chin. But I need something to fill in my pores and help smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles. And so my favorite I've tried others and I keep coming back to this one because you just really can't beat it, is the Porefessional by Benefit. And they have a few different variations of this primer. They have one that's a pearl finish, so it's a little bit more luminous. This one, it's not completely matte, but I would say it's more like a satin, between a satin and a matte. It's not gonna add any sheen to your makeup look. And it is phenomenal for filling in pores, smoothing everything out, and providing a wonderful, grippy base for your makeup to stick to. This is really key for any makeup look I do, whether it's a full face make of makeup or just a tinted moisturizer or serum or something like that. I always use my primer because I this is 
one thing I really cannot live without. While my skin is getting drier, it seems, by the day, I'm still not to the point where I can put on primer and foundation and apply the rest of my makeup. If I did that, my foundation makeup would break down and separate or slide off my face, <laughs> especially concealer under my eyes. I tend to be more oily around my eyelids and I have to set that under eye concealer with a little bit of powder and my T-zone and chin and all that. I have to have something. And the best powder that I have found, I'm sure there are others more expensive <laughs> than this, but what I use is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Pressed Powder. It says Instant Wrinkle Blurring Pressed Powder. And I would agree with that. You know, so many powders just look horrible on mature skin because they emphasize every pore, every wrinkle. They tend to look cakey. They emphasize any dry patches of our skin. This does not. This is so friendly to mature skin. I apply it with a brush and I just dust it all over my face and then right up under uh, my eyes where I've applied concealer. And it keeps everything all day long. And this has some skincare properties in it as well. It says hyaluronic and vitamin C complex, whatever that is. So I don't look to my makeup for skincare, but hey, if it's got a little bit of extra in there, that, that's fine too. So this powder is what I use and what you see me in in all my videos. In that video where I do the complete get ready with me, you can see all the products I use for a full face of makeup. So I'm not going to get into that here, but I do want to mention the blush I use because I really do feel like it is key to the luminosity or the glow that you see on my face. And you can get something similar to this for a lot more. But I have been using this for well over a year. It's the Milani blush and the color I use is Dulce Pink. And it is just a really good pinky color for me. There's also one that's a little bit more coral. So if your skin tone is warmer, that one would be a good one for you. But it has just enough of that glow to it that it bounces the light off your skin without being too luminous. You know how some blushes or makeups or powders are too luminous and on mature skin the really bright luminous highlighters and things like that can be very very tricky because they will amplify every pore every imperfection that you're trying to conceal they can really bring it out but i find that this blush has just the right amount of glow to give you that nice glow to your skin without emphasizing the negatives are you following me over on Instagram? That's where I post daily. I do outfit inspiration, tips and tricks, little short videos with content every single day. I also post daily on that free Like to Know It app. I'm Style with Serena over there as well. And on Like to Know It, you can shop me and all your favorite influencers, outfits, and products all in one convenient place with shoppable links. I even did a little tutorial a few videos back of how to use the Like to Know It app. So if you would like a link to that, be sure to comment down below. Another product I use that really helps to lock in your makeup and make it last all day, plus gives you a nice glow, is this setting spray that I use from Milani. It's the Make It Last setting spray, and it says it'll make your makeup last for 16 hours. It's really easy to use after you've got all your makeup on except mascara and lipstick, I guess. Just spray it all over your face, let it dry for a minute, and it locks everything in. Now, this one is the dewy finish. It comes in a matte finish as well. 
I like the dewy because it doesn't do anything to like mattify my makeup and make it look flat. And it doesn't really add shine. It just keeps a not the nice, you know, glowy look of the makeup that I've already applied. So this is great. I would recommend it to anyone. And it's a drugstore brand. So of course it is very affordable. These next two things aren't necessarily things that make me glow, but I think they are important for my overall makeup look. And the first thing is my lash serum. I use Revitalash Advanced. I have been using this for a few years now, and it has made the most tremendous impact on my lashes. Before I started using this, they were short, stubby, getting sparse no matter what kind of mascara or how many coats i couldn't get them to look long it, it was just bad and so i started using this revitalash and i was skeptical because at first i didn't see any results but i kept with it they said to use it for three months and i did and after when i hit that three month mark i was like oh my gosh my lashes had thickened up and they had grown and they are really nice and long now and people comment on them all the time especially the girls that do my hair they always comment on how long my lashes look especially for someone my age so and i owe it all to this revitalash and it is not cheap but i promise you it is 100 percent worth it it really works if you're consistent and give it some time Speaking of lashes, I have been a user of Lancome mascaras for years. Their Definacils is my OG mascara. It never clumps, never smudges, doesn't irritate my eyes. I've been using it since the 90s. Recently, I decided I wanted to try Lancome's Lash Edole mascara because it claims it makes longer lashes, thicker, all this stuff. Definacils doesn't really make your lashes thicker, it will add some length. So I got this trial size at Ulta, and I have to say, I am really impressed with the job it is doing. I'm not even using my lash boosting primer with this mascara, so it cuts out that step. I just put this straight on my lashes, and they look great i think and this does thicken more than the definacils but it also adds that length and it doesn't irritate my eyes and just like the definacils it doesn't smudge and it doesn't flake off so lancome knows what they're doing with their mascara so this has become my new favorite i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any other questions about products I use or my whole routine, leave me a comment down below. And remember, everything I've talked about will be linked down in the description. Thanks for joining me here today, and until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.